MIT is a great place. You know, there are many different initiatives and they all lie on some, you know, set of planes where they intersect with one another. JWell intersects really extraordinarily well with many different initiatives that have anything to do with education. Um, anything in particular countries and particular regions interfaces very well with JWell. For example, MIT Africa interfaces really well with JWell. We have many people who are approaching us at MIT and who we're reaching out to from MIT Africa who are interested in education and in collaborating with us at MIT on their education systems or potentially building new universities. And that's a great way to bring together two units in one new way that um, wouldn't, may not have happened um, with either unit alone. So I think there's tremendous potential for JWell to um, intersect and to spread across um, the other MIT initiatives and the various departments, the various units. Um, MISTI, for example, that sends our students around the world, um, is interacting with JWell in JWell, the JWell Ambassador Program, which are students who go out and work with our collaborative universities or units, depending on the collaborative, who can work here at MIT on educational projects. And so this is a way to involve our students and um, both at home and abroad in MIT's educational mission and in, in the whole JWell initiative. I think there are really five aspects of MIT education that are terrific and different certainly in summation, than really anywhere else. The first is that we solve problems and we educate our students as problem solvers. I always feel I walk around the world carrying a little banner that says we solve problems. It's really the currency that makes our students walk out of here and be so employable, not just in the field of their major, but in any many different fields, because they understand how to look at a problem, how to start tackling a problem, how to start solving a problem. And you know, that currency of being problem solvers is useful across every single sphere. So I think that that is the most valuable kind of educational metric that we give. We use hands-on learning a lot. It's not just in lectures and it's not even just in homeworks. It's really hands-on. You can go and make things, you can go and build things, you can go and test things out. And by using that kind of hands-on methodology, you really get a deep sense of what the subject is all about. MIT is, has entrepreneurship par excellence. Our students are exposed to a culture on campus and surrounding the campus in the Kendall Square region that is really um, an extraordinary one. We know that about 40% of our students go on to make a startup within five years of graduation. And you know, our innovation, people love to talk about the net worth of companies that were started by MIT, you know, coming up, the latest I heard was $1.9 trillion net worth, making, you know, the summation, the world's 10th largest economy. It's a great track record of entrepreneurship by our students, and that's something that um, we do very well in our educational system. We um, are really at the forefront now of digital tools. The blended learning, the types of use of MITx, which was really one of the, the groundbreaking digital um, units and digital um, platforms, um, to, uh, now of course on, on, um, together on edX. But the MITx tools as used on campus in blended learning, in bringing new ways of educating students into the classroom is really useful. It's really a different way of thinking about how to learn and so we do that very, very well. And then finally, as I mentioned previously, um, we have a science of learning unit on campus. We think about the science of learning and do research into learning. So those kinds of five things, um, you know, put together very well a kind of unique set of how MIT educates and how um, we can collaborate then with the world using this unique quintet of methodologies that we use here um, on campus. The problem solving, the hands-on, the entrepreneurship, 
the digital tools and the science of learning.